Today we're reviewing Brian's Upwork profile. He's a brand new member to the Freelance Family Man membership program. If you sign up for that program, I will review your profile too, and I won't just create a review video. I will provide support to you afterwards as a follow-up until you get to the point where you feel like your profile is optimized fully, and that is one of the benefits of signing up for the membership program. That's only something I'm offering temporarily. I will not always offer that as part of the program. It's just while it's recently launched. And also with that program, you'll get additional training material, courses. You'll be able to uh, join a group coaching call once per month. And so I encourage you to check that out in the link below. If not, there are some other courses you can take just individually if you want as well to help you with your Upwork journey. And so with this profile, he is a social media manager, content creator, Instagram Reels. We're going to start from the top down and pick apart some things that are the most important to focus on for him optimizing his profile so that he can get more visibility on Upwork and uh, convert more potential clients into paying clients. This time I'm going to do this a little bit differently where I'm going to review the about description first get a good idea of what his specialty is, and then go back and work on the job title. So, do you want to build an audience online? All right, that's actually very similar to what I offer as a benefit to my services and my freelance business is that I help uh, influencers and brands to build an audience online through video content marketing. He's also in the content creation world. Um, and so that's good that he starts with the audience's main goal um, because they don't want to just hire a social media manager. Nobody wants to just hire you for what it is you offer uh, as a service. They want to hire you to achieve a specific goal and they think that your service will help them get there. If you can start your about description by speaking to the fact that you're well aware of their goal, then they're going to feel like you're more in their head and they're more willing to hire you. So do you want to build an audience? And they, they see too that you understand the bigger picture of how your services fit into this overarching goal that they have. It's not just uh, you working in a cave to do a specific thing. So do you want to build an audience online? My content strategy has helped my clients grow their audiences on Instagram, TikTok. You could say my content strategy approach um, because it's not like you have a specific content strategy that you just kind of spit offer to everyone. Um, but how you approach creating a strategy for them has helped my clients grow their audiences on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. So you've specified the um, specific platforms. Within their first month, my clients have achieved over 550% increase in impressions, 200% increase in reach, etc. So that's good that you kind of summed up your uh, one of your more impressive accomplishments in that first paragraph, but you don't start with that. It's good that you start with addressing the audience, what their main goal is, and then bring out this highlighted um, part of your portfolio. You could achieve some results. Don't gamble months of cycling through freelancers who don't care about your brand image. Use, use fake followers to pump up your numbers or ruin your image by making frequent grammar and small mistakes. Okay, what's good about this paragraph is that he is addressing a concern that his target client might have. Um, something that the more you understand your target client, the better you'll be able to come up with something like this in your proposals, during the interview process, and as he has here in his about description, where his target client may have already cycled through some freelancers that used fake followers that ruined their image, making frequent grammar and spelling mistakes. These are pain points that his target audience likely has. Well, does have, I know they have that. Um, now he might want to do some additional research to see if there's some more important pain points than grammar mistakes. That may be one that his clients have complained about a lot. And if that's the case, then, then you know, by all means include it here. Um, but something, I, I, cause I don't know for sure, so I'm just going to remind this freelancer to, to just check this section and make sure that what you're including here are your target client's top concerns that they have brought up with you. Um, that that's the top three that you should be putting here. If it's grammar and spelling using fake followers, um, then that's what you need to include. If there's some other things that you haven't thought about um, or maybe you haven't looked at this in a while, 
I will go ahead and include that in here if you've had any recent complaints from clients that have had bad experiences working with other social media managers and uh, what their pain points are in that. Um, because if they've had bad experiences before with other social media managers, then um, they see you as a risk just inherently because of their bad experience. And so they're going to approach this with more scrutiny and you're going to have to be prepared with being able to fight their objections by showing that you're not going to um, cause the same issues that somebody else did. Instead, find someone who cares for your brand's reputation, produces high value driven content and has in systems to ensure everything runs smoothly. Okay, good. You're highlighting some of the main uh, value propositions that you offer, which is improving the reputation, producing high value driven content. Okay, good. And systems to ensure it all runs smoothly. Also an important goal and desire of this target client who's trying to find a social media manager. Why choose me? My content creation strategy has generated over 6,000 followers for my clients. Um, four plus years of experience with creating content that people can't help but watch. Okay, so now you're referring to video content. So you might want to say something about video in this about description um, if that's the primary content you create. An express content generation system that produces content within 48 hours. Okay. You know, that's a good value thing you add as well, that you're able to spit fire out content in a certain amount of time. That's good that you mentioned that. Content marketing is the best way to build your brand, attract new leads, and convert them into paying customers who stay. Yes, that is a true statement. That's good that you're, you know, that's kind of similar to something I have in my about description. Um, it makes me think you've watched one of my other videos. <laughs> or you just already know this, and that's good. I guarantee your satisfaction, deliver outstanding service, and give prompt support, okay? Reach out to me and let's, ele you might wanna look at the grammar of this a little bit, it just reads a little weird. Um, reach out to me and let's elevate your social media presence. Okay, pretty good closing statement. Um, with you being in the content creation world, social media, you definitely wanna have a video in your profile right where my face is um, and talk a little bit about your approach to creating a content strategy. So on my, Upwork profile, and I'm gonna go over there real quick just to um, compare. I talk about, see, you want to build an audience online. I start my profile the exact same way. Because um, again, we serve the same client, we just have slightly different specialties. So the uh, I say in the end, be sure to check out the video on my profile where I show you 15 ways that you can build your audience online through my video first content marketing method. So if there's some specific unique approach that you have to content creation, to social media management, create a video where you're teaching something related to that strategy and post that as your profile video because you're proving in that video that you have the expertise that you say you have because you're teaching something. It would be like a YouTube style video, five to 10 minutes, and you are teaching something related to your expertise because you're offering strategy you're coming at this you're, you're pitching yourself as more than just a social media manager okay you're pitching yourself as a strategist as a consultant on their content strategy and then next to that you also help to implement and manage that strategy by being a social media manager i think you need to come at this with more of a Putting the strategist side of it in the forefront, you're gonna be able to charge a lot more than 25 an hour. If you're just pitching yourself as a social media manager that can log on to their Facebook and Instagram accounts and set up the schedule for all the posts, then 25 an hour is fine. But if you're actually coming up with a content strategy that can help them achieve a 550% increase in impressions, then you're worth more than 25 an hour. You're like maybe 50 an hour. That, and that can just keep going up from there to well over 100 an hour. Um, but if you're at this 25 hour range, you're giving the impression that you're a social media manager only, that you don't provide content strategy. And it's clear that you do. Um, so I would probably restructure your job title. Well, coming back to just closing the loop on the video thing. So with the video thing, again, you're proving in that video that you are an expert of 
strategizing when it comes to social media content and growth. And you need to show that by teaching a bit about your system and how you do that. That's going to make a big difference. Being able to have that video as part of your profile, you link to it in your proposals. That's what I do. And it's helped me get a lot of clients simply having that video. I've had clients that literally said, I, I shortlisted you because of your video. Um, so, but going to your job title now, content, social media strategist, social media content strategist. Um, if you throw that word in there, you're going to be able to raise this rate and you're going to be able to come at this. You're going to be able to justify a little bit more about what you're saying here regarding how you have these, these some good implementation systems but you're also a strategist at the same time. And that offers additional value to this client beyond what a lot of social media managers can only offer when they don't have that strategy side of it. Um, so if we go up here and just search for social media manager, See, he even put expert social media strategy manager. I mean, that's just kind of weirdly worded, but social media consultant, social media. Let's let's change this to U.S. only, so it matches your country. Because sometimes when you're looking, doing a competitive research, you can't really. Uh, clients when they're searching for freelancers will often filter by location. Sometimes if they want somebody in the U.S., they'll search U.S. only. So you have to compare yourself to other freelancers in the U.S. It's a little bit more fair of a comparison. Digital marketing, okay? And you might not be that broad, so you probably leave that out. Social media management, social media manager. Overall strategy. <laughs> See, 50 an hour, 20, 50 an hour. Yeah, I bet you can go to the 50 an hour range. Social media manager, content creator. So now let's type in social media strategist. Okay, so when you type in strategist, social media marketing manager, oh, I gotta go back to US only. Social media marketing strategist, TikTok and Instagram expert strategist, social media marketing. Yeah, so something you have to consider too is you have this marketing side of it, which I don't think you're in the realm of, you're trying to pitch more of, hey, I'll help you come up with a content marketing strategy. So, you know, that's the marketing side. But then managing your social media channels, the direction you're going to want to go in is to pitch yourself as more than a social media manager that because people are, clients can hire people all over the world to be a social media manager and pay only 20 an hour um, you want to be pitching yourself as a so social media strategist to see the hourly rate is always higher on that one um, so I would say social media strategist and you could put a separator here for content marketing, content creator. Um, you know, if you're literally the one creating the content images, videos, um, you can put content creator, um, but the marketing side of it will also also communicate higher value that can even justify the higher rate as well. Um, if Instagram is a specialty of yours, put Instagram in this title. If not, just take it out entirely. If you don't have a heavy focus on Instagram, it looks like you have reels here. So if you produce reels, and that's not really clear in here, if you edit them and produce them, if it is, then there, there just needs to be some more clarity here of exactly what your specialty is and what you do. Is it the management side? Is it the strategy side? Is it the content marketing side? Instagram focused or TikTok or YouTube uh, are reels a huge specialty? Are you editing them or just coming up with the strategy for that? 
there's just some confusion over exactly what you offer. Um, so that needs to be cleared up between your job title and between the details that you share regarding your services. Um, I'm thinking the direction you're going is you is that you want to offer strategy. You want to be able to manage the channels as well. I'm not clear on what platforms are your specialty and whether you create the content itself. Or do you create videos? Are you a video editor? Um, so I think overall there just needs to be some clarity in there regarding that. And you're going to be on your way. Again, it's really not bad. Um, there's just a little bit of confusion over that specialty, your focus, the exact services you offer. There needs to be some more clarity about that overall. So uh, hopefully that's helpful to anyone else who is in this similar space or a totally different space because a lot of these concepts are the same when it comes to optimizing an upward profile. And again, if you want me to optimize your, go ahead, yours, go ahead and sign up for the Freelance Family Man membership program in the link below. And I'll see you next time.